Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity and today I would love to share with you one very quick, very easy, but I believe very useful tutorial, hopefully a solution for some, and that tutorial is about how to sew a lining into your jackets, your hoodies, your zippered sweaters and things like that, but the easy way, because I know a lot of times when we talk about lining your hoodies or your jackets or anything like that, that can be pretty intense intimidating because there's just a lot of moving parts and then you have to turn things right side out and then you have to attach them and then you have to sew up the openings. But I have one really easy way how to do that that I've been using for quite some time now and I really like it. So I would love to share it with you. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, go ahead and grab the pattern pieces of the project that you're making. And if you're making that with a zipper, grab a zipper as well. Bonus, I will also guide you through how I install zippers in hoodies like that. To give you a quick overlook of what I'm working here with so that way you know what are the pattern pieces that you will see on the screen. This is a Reglan sweater that I transformed into a hoodie. So I added a drafted hood over here, a zip in the middle, and of course also the ribbing on the bottom and the cuffs on the sleeves as well. So if you've been watching my Knit Bodice Block series, you can make this without a problem. Super easy, all of the steps are outlined. I like to begin by separating the fabric pieces that belong to the outer fabric and the ones that belong to the lining and then I will start by assembling them because that is going to be the first step before we do anything else. Now quick point here, I'm using a pattern for a Reglan sweatshirt that is going to feature a separating zipper down the middle. Now it doesn't really matter if you're using a set-in sleeve or a Reglan sleeve or any other sleeve. This will work for all of the sleeves out there. Once the outer shell of the fabric is constructed as you see right over here, the hood is attached, the side seams are sewn, let's go ahead and take care of the ribbing. Now this ribbing is going to go on the bottom of the garment and usually the ribbing is cut a little bit shorter than the actual bottom of whatever you're sewing so that way once we're attaching it we're going to be stretching it a little bit. Lay your ribbing flat as you see me do on a screen and place it right sides together with the bottom hem of your hoodie or your jacket and that's how we're going to attach it. You're going to go ahead, pin it everything in place, and then we're going to serge it, slightly stretching the ribbing so that way it would match the length of the bottom hem. This next step is somewhat optional. I find that I can do with or without it depending on many circumstances and of course the fabric that I'm using. But if you find yourself always struggling with inserting zippers with knit fabrics, you find that something always overstretches or doesn't match or something always comes out wobbly, then this will definitely help. Here I'm grabbing a narrow strip of medium weight interfacing. It is about one inch wide and we're going to be attaching it to the wrong side of the center front of the pattern pieces, exactly where the zipper is going to go. And we're going to attach it a little bit above of the actual neckline so going into the hood and a little bit below the bottom hem going a little bit into the ribbing. So you can go ahead cut a little bit of interfacing, fuse it to your next project or your practice piece and see how it works for you. A rule of thumb that I usually use is that for stable knits maybe it's not necessary but the flimsier the knit the more you want to stabilize that for projects like that. Now make sure that you have assembled the lining piece for the project and for this next Next step, we're going to go ahead and join them at the ribbing on the bottom. So take your lining and place it right sides together with your outer shell of the project. And now go ahead and pin it to the ribbing. Now here this time, I usually try to make sure that the side seams on the lining match with the side seams on the outer shell. So that way when I go ahead and attach everything, uh, when a zipper is ready to go, everything matches and is really nice and neat. So go ahead, serge it or do it with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, whichever you have available. You can complete this whole project on the sewing machine alone, so please don't be discouraged just by the fact that I'm using a serger. 
All right, once that part is done, if you place it flat on the table, just for visual purposes, you will see that you have the ribbing in the middle and two parts of the hoodie on each side. So if you fold the ribbing in half, it starts to resemble a hoodie. <laughs> We're almost there, I promise. Go ahead and place it right sides together, the lining and the outer fabric. Just make sure that nothing twists in the middle between these steps. And let's go ahead and align the top of the hoods. You also want to align the sides but here when you're sewing hoodies with a zipper down the center front usually there's a little part of the hood uh, right over here that is reserved for the zipper so you don't want to sew that because that's where the zipper is gonna go but everything else let's go ahead pin and sew it together once the hood part is assembled I usually double check one more time that everything aligns and after that it's time for a zipper. So go ahead and grab the zipper that you have prepared for your pattern, remove any of the tags that you have on it or anything else, and turn your garment wrong side out, just like you see me do on a screen. Place your zipper with the zipper teeth down, like that, and let's go ahead and open your zipper. Now, take one side of the zipper and place it with the zipper teeth inside, so creating a sandwich between the lining and the outer fabric of the hoodie. Now align the zipper tape with the edge of both of the fabrics and let's pin together. When you're pinning, make sure that the seams on top of the hoodie and also the seams of the ribbing align. And usually pinning is great, but what's even better is going ahead and basting it all together with hand sewing needle and thread. Repeat that on both sides. And once I have basted zipper on both sides of the hoodie, I usually go ahead and turn it right side out one more time. Yes, that's a lot of turning the garment inside out and right side out, but that really helps to really make sure that the ribbing matches, that the hood matches, that all of the seams align really well. Once you made sure that that is indeed the fact, let's go ahead and stitch your zipper in. Go ahead and change the presser foot of your sewing machine to the zipper foot and sew in the zipper. While you're doing that, don't forget all the good things like back stitching at the beginning and at the end of your seam, removing the basting stitches once you're done, and of course you're going to repeat that on both sides of the garment. After that, usually, but not always, depending on the fabric, I try to give it a really good press. And then another optional thing is top stitching. I don't always do it, again, it just depends on the project and on the fabric that I'm working with. But if I do, I try to switch to a quarter an inch presser foot. That's my personal choice. I find it works really well. And I like to start my top stitching right above the ribbing. Some people like to top stitch all the way through. I like to start right above the ribbing. And then slow and steady, just go ahead and do the top stitching with a straight stitch all the way to the top. Now, because we did apply the interfacing, that definitely helps that top stitching to go a lot smoother. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put on some music for you. I think that some people might benefit from this footage, just seeing how I work with the fabric, how I help with my hand to kind of navigate that fabric, smooth it out, and so forth. So go ahead and enjoy. If you don't want to, skip ahead to the next step.
Once the top stitching is done, we have one last and final step, which is beyond simple. And then you'll be ready to go in your new jacket, in your hoodie, whatever you're making. And here, just make sure that when you're placing the sleeve of the lining inside of the sleeve of the outer fabric, that they're not twisted and that the seams indeed face each other. Because I've definitely twisted this part before and then I had to redo it, which is, you know, always unpleasant. So just keep that in mind. Then go ahead and grab the cuff that you have prepared for your project and fold it in half, wrong sides facing. And after that, you're just going to attach it, catching both layers of the lining and of the outer fabric like you would attach any other cuff to a hoodie or a sweater. So easy as that. Now, if you're working on a woven garment and you're using the same principle of attaching the lining this way, Instead of a cuff, you can do bias tape. You can also do a woven cuff. You can also take the outer sleeve and a sleeve of the lining and place the seam allowances right sides facing each other. And you can also stitch it like that. You can finish it by hand. Many, many possibilities where you can use this very simple technique. And that's it. That's how I added lining to these two hoodies right over here and many other projects. So I truly hope that you can take this really easy, really straightforward way how to add the lining. And now you're not going to shy away of creating really nice, beautiful hoodies, beautiful jackets, beautiful zippered sweaters that will serve you really well during the colder months of the year. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to watch how to make different modifications to your knit garment, click right over here and you will see a ton of really fun videos on how you can take one garment and transform it into whatever your imagination wants. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!